Hey everyone, Vinayak here. We generally test our sugar levels using devices like this one. Prick your finger using the included needle, take samples and test. These are done at certain point of time and is not a good indicator of how the levels were during the day. And again, there are multiple tests such as uh, random blood sugar, fasting sugar and also post lunch readings. The Ultra Human M1 makes it easier as it takes multiple readings during the day, giving you a better picture of your blood sugar levels, monitor your metabolism and also find out if you're prone to diabetes. One plus point is that you don't have to prick your finger every time. And you can get tons of insights via the Ultra Human app. But before you can do that, let's unbox the sensor and install it on myself. Time to become a cyborg. Ultra Human is a holistic fitness app with a goal to make fitness more personalized. Using data-driven analysis, using the experience of multiple experts in the field, the Ultra Human M1 came into being. My lifestyle is not a very healthy one, sitting the whole day in front of the computer and irregular meal timings, lack of exercise, the usual. Here's the box, deep health insights. That's what I need to keep track of. Let's open it up, M1 toolkit. We have stickers, alcohol wipes to clean the application area, patches, three of them and below that we have the actual sensor. I've actually already opened the box to see what's inside but opening the box uh, we find the sensor and the applicator. And we also have documentation which are complete instructions on how to use or install the sensor. The Ultra Human app runs on both Android and iOS. I am using the app on my Galaxy Z Fold 4, so I am on Android. There are tutorials available on YouTube to know how to attach the sensor to your arm. The link to the same is available in the description. Before I can pair the sensor to the phone, I need to apply it to the body, here under your arm. You need to be in a fasting state before you apply the sensor for best results, at least one hour before your first meal, as the sensor would take one hour to calibrate itself. That's why I'm here at early in the morning to install the sensor. And that needle looks scary. It is a hollow needle and it doesn't enter the body and just makes a tiny piercing on your skin to allow the glucose filament to enter the skin. The filament is the one that would read the glucose levels via your interstitial fluid. Unscrew the cap of the sensor applicator, remove the applicator and place it on the sensor pack. Make sure to align the sensor pack and the applicator and push it down. Match this line with the grey line on the sensor pack. So match it up like this and push down. Okay, the sensor is now loaded and ready to apply. So now before applying the sensor, we need to clean the area with the alcohol wipe provided and let it dry. So opening up the alcohol wipe. There you go. Just this sanitizes that area, so let it dry. So now we are ready. Here we go. Put your arm out like that. Do this, align. When it's done, <laughs> I didn't even feel a thing actually. Just look at that. Here's the sensor, cool. And check if the adhesive is applied properly around the sensor. And let's stick the patch now. So stick the provided ultra human patch over the glucose sensor and we are done. Open up the Ultra Human app and add device. Uh, we need to have NFC active on our phone to pair the sensor. And the NFC sensor on the Android devices are generally on the rear top half of the phone. And you have to just tap the sensor. And uh, like, let me just get that active. Like there should be an add device option. Okay, how to put on the biosensor. Biosensor is already on. Pair biosensor. Do that. Okay, I think it read it. Yeah, the app is ready. So it'll take one, it'll take an hour to get ready and calibrate itself. 
then after that you can see our glucose values perfectly. I'll get back once the sensor is ready. The sensor has completed calibration and we're ready to use the app. And this is my real time glucose level. I'll keep syncing the data with the phone and I should have enough in a few days for a more comprehensive analysis. It's been three days since I applied the sensor to my arm and I've been synchronizing the data every eight hours as the data capacity of the sensor is only that much and it would be overwritten to make space for new data. And this is how the data looks on the app. Let's check between a standard glucometer reading and the ultra human M1. I'm using the Contour Plus One and uh, which we generally use for readings at home and it's pretty accurate. Here's the reading on the glucometer, 83. You need NFC on your phone to sync the data from the device. Just tap and it updates. And uh, on the M1 sensor, we have 86. Pretty close. I'm no doctor, but if you are, please do comment below if this variance is acceptable. I can't feel the sensor much on my arm until I brush the patch or lie down. And when I'm on a bed, I completely forget that the sensor is on. There is no discomfort, but be careful you don't place much pressure on the sensor while sleeping. I had a good 3 km walk in the morning today and the sensor is indicating a small spike. I never knew that there would be a blood sugar spike while exercising. After that, I had breakfast and there's a spike in my blood glucose level again. Uh, in using this information, you can check which foods spike your glucose levels and make changes to your diet appropriately. We can enter the data on what we had for breakfast so as to be able to analyze the data later. And we also have a coach available via the app who can look through your data and recommend dietary changes and or workout changes. We can now experiment between various foods like biryani, burgers, pizzas to know which one gives a bigger spike. If you had a sugar crash and you can look at the time and if you had logged the data, you can see exactly what caused the sugar crash. The metabolic score when above 90 indicates good metabolic health. It changes during the day as per your activity and also food intake. The metabolic vectors show your affinity to focus, longevity and also how athletic you are. Athletic, hmm, I have an 8 score over there. And here's how the app displays the calories for the foods you have entered. There is a complete list of foods available and all our Indian foods are also available in the list. My work is 90% in front of the computer in a sedentary position. And uh, the info would help us understand how that would affect glucose levels. We also have videos, articles, educating us on how to stay fit. Exercise videos are also available for mindfulness and also relaxation. Looking at the data available, I have changed what I do and don't eat and this M1 in a way has changed what I eat and when I exercise. The sensor has a battery within and it lasts for 14 days or exactly 2 weeks. You will need to replace the sensor once the battery is drained. The sensor stores readings for 8 hours, so make sure to sync in between so as to not lose the data. Just tap the sensor using the phone and it gets updated. You can also link the Ultra Human app to third-party apps such as Google Fit, Garmin, Fitbit, and more. When sleeping, make sure you don't apply pressure on the sensor. Try lying down on the opposite side. 80% of the population are dealing with metabolic disorders and 500 million plus are diabetic. This device can help us lower our risks and stay healthy. And uh, the better our health, the more focused we are, the longer we live, and also our athletic performance also improves. And the sensor does need to be changed every two weeks which is pricey, but as they say, there is no price for good health. The M1 is more focused on health optimization and general fitness and is not meant to replace an actual glucometer. Not recommended if you're diabetic and it's advisable to consult your doctor first before using this device. If you are looking for more insights on how good your metabolism is and how your blood glucose levels are affecting your health, the Ultra Human M1 looks like a great option. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.